Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video and today on Real Talk I have got two very uh, dapper individuals here with me. Uh, Lazy and Spunky from Torpedo. How you doing boys, how you doing? Hello, doing fine. Hey. Wow Spunky, that that intro was, hi, hi, I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay. So oh, which one was going to be nervous again? Again, again please. Okay. Wait. Right, should we start again? Hi guys, welcome to Real Talk. Today on the show, I've got Lazy and Spunky from Torpedo. Hi, Spunky, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> oh, Was no. that your best British accent? Oh, no, dear. I guess. <laughs> right, lads. Uh, so, welcome to Real Talk, lads. Uh, thank you for taking the time and being here. So, I've got a number of questions, but my first question to you is... What have you been up to the last couple of days? What have you been doing? Like, just off the bat, doesn't have to be paladins, doesn't have to be gaming. What have you been up to? And don't say work, because work sucks. Be a nerd. Tell me something. Wait, so you want to know what we've been doing with paladins, or outside paladins? Uh, anything. Tell me. What have you been anything. doing? Wait, what are we... Uh, basically, well, I'm going to talk about paladins, because <laughs> this is the thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> nerd! Okay, so basically we've been trying paladins, and we've been struggling a lot before coming up to the tournament so mm -hmm. we were kind of a bit skeptic to begin with mm -hmm. and we actually thought that people was gonna be playing really close to us so we we had some hard times in on this week not hard enough obviously you're still bloody yeah, winning well, you know yeah, just saying not bitter at salty at all <laughs> we had some skeptic people i was one of them but also spooky <laughs> yes Wait, how can you be skeptical when you come we out had... with 30 plus kills, Spunky? We had a rough week, that's why. Oh, this is a rough week in the yeah, life we had, of Yeah, we had two oh. lost scrims. Oh, yes. but my heart bleeds. My heart bleeds. Oh, you see this? This is me playing the smallest violin for you, boys. God, you lost two scrims. Oh, dear. It's a bad week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that is a bad week. It's been the hardest. Like we, ne we never actually lose that much uh, when it comes to. And so now you are losing. It's down. like, oh crap! What, what, what is this? What, what is that again? That's a loss. Wait, we do that? <laughs> That's a thing. Well, that that was a thing a while back <laughs> where we actually never lost, and then when we started losing at least one game or something, we just well, basically everything just went down the drain for a while because nobody was used to this. So hey, just for the record, when you say things went down the. Uh, drain, but yet you still place first in every single tournament. Yeah, that's that's to me, that's like, oh dear, I broke a nail. Deardums, now what? Move on. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we definitely move on and we just play even better because the last two tournaments we actually lost the first round every time, mm -hmm. and yes. then we were kind of we were already behind in the, the best of five, and somehow we just managed to get it three wins afterwards. See, that's why I said, uh, because last week you. You lost the first round to QTM, or TQM, whatever. And then uh, this week you did the same thing. And I turned around and said, oh dear, they've done it again. And Spunky jumped on me. Because we're going to win anyway. And you did, of course. But, oh, yeah, in Discord. <laughs> right, anyway, so uh, first question here. How did you both get into Paladins? How did you, did you play, you know, how did you get into Paladins as a whole? Was you playing other games before that, or did you just stumble across it or you know um i played league of legends before this game and i used to play competitive in the league of legends challenger mm -hmm. for a while and i also played a lot of other games but it basically got way too boring for me and it was also way too stressful so it just ended up getting too much stress and i just quit the game so i, I kind of wanted to play a casual game just to have fun and just play but all of a sudden it ended up with being being paladins and I just met these people and then we got picked up by an organization and it was like, oh, wait, what What was this? I was supposed to play this game casually? <laughs> okay, and Spunky and you? Well, I just jumped from a game to another, not in competitive, but like, well, like Path of Exile, Terraria, with friends and stuff. Just And then my friend gave me key for paladins mm -hmm. and after a couple of hours, I was hooked. Atta boy. And now your class is the best player in the world, you know. I guess. Yeah, yeah, you know, <sighs> nothing major there, you know, only the best player in the world. 
you know. I want to know what people define him as the best player and why. Yes, not stats. Okay, I can, I'm, no, I'm okay, so okay. I won't say stats, but I will tell you why. Your okay. positioning. Sometimes, like, we, we all know when you're in scrim, positioning can be the hardest thing, and I've casted your games, I've watched from POV, your point of view, and the way you maneuver yourself into a position where you can help an ally, or pick up a return kill, something like CSGO, like one blows down, you can pick up the return kill, and so forth and so on, but the thing is, Spunky, you don't just pick up the return kill, you pick up the second kill, and then the third kill, and so on, and then you come back, and then you can help your teammates to get other kills, and you continue to pressure, and just not die. That's what makes a good player. And I've had numerous conversations with a lot of people about you. Uh, some are jealous of your uh, oh. the way you play. I am. Uh, I'm not. No, I'm, not I'm, I'm, not. I'm far better player. I'm far better player than Smunky. You know, pff, don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. Uh, and some people think, like, they don't try to emulate you, but they take what you do and try to mimic it and see how well they can do with it. And, like, what does, it, what does that feel like? Like, when you know that people actually, like, the younger generation coming into the game looking up to you? Like, the game's barely in its infant stage, and you've already got that sort of uh, presence about you. you. Everybody knows who you are. Like, even someone who comes in two weeks into the game, they're going to know who you are. I know, And the thing is, you don't even know it, but... Everybody else thinks that of you. And, you know, being in that situation, do you, does he, you know, sometimes go to his head lazy? Does he, you know, or does he, is he sort of mellowed out? Doesn't even pay no heed to it? Nah, there's too much EP going on. So yeah? It's pretty difficult to have the biggest EP within the team. Mm. You all think you're the best? Nah, not really. The, actually, thing, we, is, we, the we, thing is... Everybody's actually really humble. That's the thing. It's, it's mostly... Um, a lot about copying people and stuff and people actually try to do it but they're not unable to do the same things that mm -hmm. they see this guy do and there are many other reasons to why these people can play like this and yeah it's it's not only because of one good player it's basically because of everybody like right now currently with this meta it's pretty difficult to say who's actually doing the best because there are some champions that can do a lot more than what others can do and we talk about for example princess he doesn't get it he doesn't get much uh, recognition for what he actually do. Uh -huh. he's uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. Well, it's not, it's not that much. I because... give him credit. Well, yeah, you do give him credit, but it's not the same thing. Like, nobody really talks about Princess because he's, like, in the middle. And it's also kind of the same deal with Custom. Because the Custom has always been on, on a Grok. And basically, Grok's back some patches ago. Mm -hmm. He's basically a support. And he, he basically just supported the team and did a lot of damage still. But... It didn't have the same carry potential that Pip had and Eevee had. Yeah. Now that they removed the carry potential from Pip, so he's more relied on um, actually playing with the team and actually cannot do plays. Mm -hmm. It's more about Eevee that is the one that is supposed to do plays because she's the only one who has the the top top kit to do these things. Yeah. And as well as Grover now and all these champions, uh, Buck. But it's about making windows yeah. for these uh, star players to actually be able to do these plays. So yeah, that's but they're only star the players because the rest of the team know their position in the team and can support them. Like, Swanky that's can't the... run in one versus five and win. No, that's Oh, that's wait, hang on a minute. Team. Didn't he do that? Yeah, he can do that. Okay, let's move on. All right, you did do that. You got, you got the first ever Hexakill in tournament play. Uh, you, um, you know, I got... The... Just saying. Just saying. I got the second one against question mark last Saturday. Yeah, last Saturday as well. Oh, yeah. just rub it in. Oh no, this is getting too much. <laughs> so, so wait a minute. So you've got you've had two penters, two hexes in both tournament plays in the preseason tournaments, and you turn around and say, "Well, why do people think you're the best player in the world?" No, yeah, no. Uh, I... Like, really? Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm best kill stealer in the game. <laughs> Oh, you heard it here first, oh, folks. Oh, we have some reality now. Uh, That's nice. <laughs> That's actually See? good. I'm uh, starting to like this. Lazy, game. is he starting yes. to mellow out now? Is he, you know, is reality kicking in? Well, you know, kind of, you know, the team did all the work. I just came in and killed the rest of them, you know, while the team died. 
that's we're, fine. We're doing it as a unit. Mm. All these things about positioning and stuff, it's not only because of Spunky. All the positioning talk is basically we have good analyzing. We talk a lot within the team. We mm. have Surfle, which is our coach. Mm -hmm. And he's doing an immense amount of work when it comes to talking with people, telling them, hey, you're doing this mistake over and over again. You have to fix this, and this is how you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. And this is how we actually are. Is he hiring. forceful when he says it? He's not forceful, no. but we can basically, because he knows what he went into. We were basically a five-man team that was basically winning all the time, even without him. But So he kind of respected that, and he was not forcing himself in, but we let him get inside because he was really doing a good he was really doing a good job in mm. what he did. Okay. And he is a lot of reasons to why we actually can follow up in this meta because we keep on improving by looking out on, uh, on our mistakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, um, we'll move on the to the next one. Right, yep. have you played any other Hyrus games before other than Paladins? I played Global Agenda and Alpha. Oh, good boy. Spunky? I played a lot. Did you? Did you play anything or...? Is Paladins your first Hyros game? But it's might, actually, from closed beta. Yeah, there we go. See, I was around for Alpha for all, everything. I can, I can literally say I've played in every single beta, every single game Hyros has brought out. I'm quite happy about that. I love it. I've been around for a long time now in uh, Hyros scene, and uh, there's a lot of things that can be improved, but at the same time, the job Hyros have done is amazing and that sort of leads on to my next question right current meta in the game <laughs> a lot of people don't like it a lot oh, of people don't like it now let's let's talk a little about um the meta right now the stage it's at where do we need to go to improve it what what do we need well I'm never really sure what. Uh... You're not so sure. So you think the the current meta is not good and what? Should no, we not change, me. But or... it's just like, like I, I get to talk to a lot of people on the Discord. I mean, I do. I literally, I can probably say about hundred plus people. I've had conversations about meta and stuff like that, especially on the NA scene as well. Now the NA know who I am and they're talking to me and stuff. There's a lot of people saying, you know, the beacon placement, uh, the comeback mechanic, and all this sort of thing. It's not something they like. Is it something you guys like, or is it, you know, or is it, you know, what could be changed to make it well, balanced? in my opinion, beacon should be trashed, and comeback mechanics should be well. I think it's getting patched. Yeah, it's getting patched. patched and, yeah, it's getting patched on Thursday. So Actually. beacon, in my opinion, is trash. You don't like it at all? Why is that? No, no. There's limits for it. You can't use it as you could, like you could use it, like for example, roofs and stuff. Yeah, but that's only tournament play. Yeah, but that's where yeah, it counts, obviously. But I mean, yes. so but... in tournament play, you'd prefer no beacon at all. No. But it's a good five seconds to run back to a point. Um. It, well. It's mostly about the respawn timer. The beacon could work, but it's definitely the respawn timer that actually kills the game when it comes come, to competitive. Come, yeah, the comeback mechanic, yeah. And yeah, I already mentioned this many times that when you're spectating the game and you have to cast it, it's just going to be a cluster. <clears throat> um, and Was you going to say clusterfuck? Yeah. Uh, I'll say it for you there. Clusterfuck. Okay, clusterfuck. Okay. <laughs> Basically a clusterfuck <laughs> when it comes to casting a game and it's just nearly impossible to keep track of what uh, what everybody's doing but yeah well right now you're only looking from one person's pers uh, perspective mm -hmm. but as soon as they're gonna add the spectator mode and with this meta if it stays you could just imagine your imagine yourself how it's how that's gonna look mm, yeah people are wiped out well no because well, if you go for spectator mode not everybody's gonna be dead at the same time and in spectator no. mode you can spectate either side so you know but gonna that's the around. thing. You're gonna panel around and then, oh, he died. Oh, the next one died. Oh, yes. who, who's actually alive here? So, who? so let me explain something how uh, spectator will probably work. Now, a lot of it's gonna be taken from Smite because it's a very successful game. It's like one of the third biggest MOBA in the world. You know, that's a big title to hold. They're gonna take aspects of the Smite um, spectator mode, 
where everything's going to be cut in half so we don't see all the treetops and all that stuff unless a player's on it or something. And it's going to be very easy to use. I, I know this because I can already see it. And like, like I said, I've been in, I've been around for the high risk games a lot, and I've seen a lot of the spectator mode, especially like Tribes Ascend. Very free, very open. You get to see it, and you know, zoom in and all that stuff. Now, if they mix both of them, spectator mode is going to be great because you can have fixed angles that you can set up, and like camera views, you don't have to spectate somebody else. You can just know look what at, you, mean. A, you know. That's something I'm looking forward to, and I've been wanting... Well, everybody knows I've been wanting spectator mode since I came here back in November. Like, bring it. Let's go. Now! I've actually seen the Smite uh, spectator mode when I was watched one of the tournaments. It's actually really good. It could actually work in Paladins. So, yeah, yeah I actually agree with that. With that. Mm, yes. Okay, right. So, uh, we kind of skipped the question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. How did you guys get picked up by Torpedo? What's the, uh, what's the story behind that? Oh, I love this one. Here oh. we go, here we go. Well, Let's go first. It's right. not it's not about Fatman playing, because he's our father, but yeah. Well, not Torpedo father, but he's basically the father of uh, the team pre before we joined Torpedo. Mm -hmm. if, if it wasn't for him, I'm pretty sure me and Till wouldn't have talked to each other, so the teams would have been different from what what you actually see today. Mm -hmm. Torpedo. Mm -hmm. And we got... Well, we just basically played a lot, and we were having a casual focused mind, mind, and uh, we just played like all the time. And then, all of a sudden, a uh, tattletale uh, approached us about this organization that wanted to pick us up, and mm -hmm. that that's it. Like there was no no crazy things about it. It was just basically tattletale approaching us, saying well, he wants he and he he thought that we were one of the best ones. Mm -hmm. And he wanted us on, on board of um, the thing. So, Lazy, is that you giving credit to Tat? Well, it's definitely credits to Tattletail. Mm -hmm. No, that's right. Wasn't... We've, we've had him on the show, Tattletail. Um, yeah. You know, he's a good guy. He's, he's very knowledgeable about the game. Uh, doesn't play the game all that much, but he's still knowledgeable about the game. Yeah, he is. He's uh, pretty much everywhere, you could say. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. He's everywhere. But he, make, he, he does make me laugh cracks me up so since joining torpedo uh like has any issues arise or is it you know has it all been plain sailing but, well I, i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure it has been plain sailing because you've won everything basically when i had to take the decision that kaicho were not uh, not good enough to actually be hmm. like the time and all these things it's not only because he wasn't good enough he was actually decent hmm. but there was a lot of things with kaicho and i had to take the decision from there and that was kind of one of the most difficult situations, but that's the only one we have had so far. Right. Okay. So but you're, you're, been... be you're definitely thankful that you joined. You, you don't regret it. I mean, obviously, like, joining a big organization is something, you know, it, it's a step in the right direction. I mean, obviously, Torpedo give credit to the Paladins because otherwise they would be trying to pick up a team. Oh, I, I never, I would never regret this. This is actually one of the best organizations I've been in so far. Like, okay. it is the best, because I've been in so many organizations previously, and I've already had, like, I've already, always had issues with these organizations when it comes to contracts the manager stuff. contracts yeah. and, yeah, getting your stuff, even uh, how they approach the, uh, approach the players. See, I'm, see, how I work is completely different to what I've seen for other organizations. I'll get all the stuff and say, right, this is what I've got and I can offer you. Here you go. And then they come and pick it up and say, all right, cool, done. You know, once they're under contract, that's your job. Your job's to supply them what they need. And, you know, because I've already got the stuff, it makes life so easy. Oh, Every, well, you know, everybody gets paid on time. It's all good. Hey, presto. <laughs> usually when you join organizations, you have these, um, well, you call CEOs and other stuff. And yeah. they usually... Uh, very close to you in the beginning and then all of a sudden you don't see them anymore and um, that kind of, that's actually really different in this one like we have adam and we have pretty much many other people who keeps approaching us talking with us and actually supports us mm -hmm. and keeps on keep up the updates and how it's going and uh, i know adam. anything he's you a, need he's a very things. good bloke i've got a lot yeah. of time for him um i've spoke to him and rob and whatnot there honestly you guys are in great capable hands and honestly you, you you're in the right place they're great guys. See, that's not me. I mean, I'm always about. I run it, I own it, I pay for everything, but 
because I'm so involved with the game itself anyway, like real talk and putting on tournaments and casting as well as owning an organization and doing it, I'm always here anyway. So they nag me, as you saw prior to coming in recording. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's really, it, organizations are run differently. And um, a lot of people seem to think that joining an organization, oh yes, we're joining an organization, we're gonna be famous, we're gonna go there, we're gonna go pro. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. As such, like, there's a lot of work involved. <laughs> there's definitely a lot of work. Right. Um, we'll move yeah. on. Uh, what do both of you want to see come to Paladins? What do you want to see in Paladins? Where do you want it to go? I actually want to hear Spunky about this one. <laughs> oh no. Come on, Spunky. No, 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 no. Come on, Mister. I'm the best player in the world. No. Like, come no, on. No, come no. on. Oh, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> you gotta tell us. Come on. You've been rather quiet. No, I don't really know. You don't know? I want skins. That, that, that's <laughs> me. I, I'm the same. I'm a skill whore. I, 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 I want them yes. too. Yes, that's the word. Skin whore. I need skins as well. Yeah. Apart from the uh, CP. Ugh. We actually... I actually want... I want more cards. Because they basically just removed everything. <laughs> when it I've comes to the got, card system. I've got the best idea ever for cards. I actually think I've heard that one before. Yeah. The yeah. one I ran past you. Yeah. And I can't believe how well this would work. Like, so, I'll just so everybody's sitting here watching the video going, what the fuck is he talking about? What? <laughs> Let me explain. So, two patches, two to three patches ago, they took all these cards out. Loads of them. Literally half the cards got removed from the game. Right? We've got a store that doesn't actually offer as much right now put all them cards back into the store, you know, adjusted to this current uh, patch, of, of course, you know, with cooldowns and all that sort of stuff, and then let people buy them as either a common or a speciality card for gold. You can buy the cards. And then they can go into the game, and, you know, it's about... Uh, and you could even buy bundles or, you know, stuff like that. But, of course, that has to be reworked and see how uh, Hyrus wants to do it. But you don't know. You know, It's just a thought. What's your thoughts on that, boys? Do you, do you agree? Disagree? or? I, I just kind of got reminded of Eris when he started spoiling what will be added to the game. Mm. And he was talking about banning system that will come on later when there's more champions available. Yeah. And the only thing I'm thinking about is why they're not just adding a, a ban face for cards or something because um you can take one card out of a deck and it's all random cards at the minute you just pick and make a deck there and then in the lobby well you're basically forcing the person to play something else instead of just going for yeah but then all right barrack players Freaking every barrack card. loses in flame then you have oh. to go double turret and you know people would then can count on dur current turret. it's just counter versus counter versus counter then and then, you know, the game will come to a standstill. So, it's... What do you do with that? Well, there's a lot yep. of players that who only plays with Acid Cloud, so as soon as you ban the Acid Cloud, there's still a lot of viable things, such as Masterful, or... Yeah, you only know. Masterful. Yeah, well, I was going to say, there's one other option, Masterful. Yeah. Well, that's, that's still something, because people keep playing the same thing, and I cannot readdress how much people play with the Acid Cloud. Yeah, but, Lazy, not everybody's as good as you on Pip. Oh, but yeah, that's the thing. You're forcing them to play something else instead of their own comfort comfort <laughs> zone. Yeah. So they're gonna ban my whatever card, and I have to play with Acid Cloud. I would kill myself, but yeah. The Wait, banning could you... work. No. Yeah. Go on, Spunky. Sorry. Go. On. The banning could work if they added like triple the amount of cards we have now. Exactly. Yeah. Because they killed so many like builds when they removed the cards. A couple what patches builds? ago. There was the same builds always. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, but if, no, if no. you look at all the cards that were there, you could have had so many different types of builds. People just, but they weren't in the game long enough for us to get there. Like people weren't at that competitive level to say, right, we can build this deck with this. There wasn't. There was what? Back in the day, what ego and you guys and fate. When I formed fate, three of us. That well, was yeah. it. So, I could have done something, but yeah. it, it's still the same kind of deal with like, well, I might sound, stu uh, sound stupid with this one, like Half Stone even. People follow the flavor of the month and then everybody with the same goddamn cards. 
But then, you know, it comes down to skill. Who's going to be in position probably? Who's going to play as a team probably? Who's going to listen that, to calls, you know? That's the thing, but then it defeats the whole purpose of having all the other cards. They're just going to be there and be useless, like other well, champions. Well, no, because then if you've got... So let's take it right now in the lobby. We can then build a deck, right? So mm -hmm. you know what these guys are going to do. If they're going to take the basic, the flavor of the month, as you call it, you counter that. You've got the cards. They're if all there, there was any counter, but at that point when we had all the cards, we were, we, were, we didn't get that far to actually... Yeah, yeah if they weren't... That's what, like I said earlier. It wasn't yeah. in the game long enough for people to actually come up with counters. Uh, personally, because of the the way I see Paladins, I want Banning Phase to be completely different. I don't want it to be champions. I don't want it to be cards. I want it to be maps. Maps? Oh. That's actually true. Yes. That's not... Right. So, for high res and the team they've got, rattling out maps is very, very easy for them. We could have... The only problem is, by doing this, you'd have to have seasons. And new maps brought in each season. Right? That's not unique. Yeah, it doesn't need to be unique. You yeah. ever heard of the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? It works. You've already took the freaking skin idea for for weapons. You know why not take that? It works, and it gives a platform for players. Not only that, it gives something high res can just sit down and say, right, here's our platform. This is what we can do. Let's go forward with this. See if it works. If it doesn't work, you know we've still got open beta to go through, so a lot of changes can come in. They can yeah. try with this. You know. Do you not agree, or is this something? What would what would you see done for the banning phase? I mean, I don't want cards. I don't think like bringing that old RNG flavor in again. As it's not something I want in the game. Well, the RNG is definitely not a good thing. Well, we all know that. But yeah. Well, my my idea was just for the cards. But mm. yeah. So I would get... say champions, but they should add like way more than we have now. So, what I can tell you that I'm aware of. That we've got four or five champions in the works that are coming out. Hires have, not me personally. I'm not designing them, but you know, Hires have four to five champions from what I could remember. What Stu put out on the Twitter that um, are in the works to be released. All right? I want to see rank come in when you've got sixteen champions. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rule of thumb that you pick sixteen. It gives everybody a different uh, team comp to play. Right? 16 means you can have three bands or vice versa or anything like that. Yeah, it makes sense. Same as MOBA, right? Yes, it puts that MOBA genre sort of thing in there, but at the same time, it still works. You know? But yeah. um, champions... I don't know. I would like it, but if it was brought in now, everybody would be banning out Grover and everybody would be banning out Pip. And then third pick would be probably... Nobody would... What? What is with Evie? Is, is did everybody forget about Evie? How broken no, she is? No, because she's too squishy. She Are yeah, she's too... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> she is. She's so squishy. Dude, Evie no. is like literally the reason. Yeah, why but you got to remember, this it. isn't tournament play. Tournament play would be something different. You've, Even casual. You, no, Evie it isn't. Is You've got to take squishy. it differently. For casual ma matchmaking, it's not going to be that. Yes, people are going to, oh, right, I'm not very good against an Eevee. Let's ban out an Eevee. But it's not always going to go that way, if it goes this way, if a banning. He almost goes with Buck. Yeah. On tankiness. It, well, it is definitely what? a problem with that. What, well, 2,327 HP? Well, you have yes. the Ice Buck's Block. Buck's got 3,000 something. Blink, Soar, Ice Block. What do you want? Like, you can tank three seconds infinite, like, infinite damage. You have extra strategies, so as soon as you get out, you can just heal in two seconds anyway. Yeah, that's, so. I actually come to say, come to think of what you were saying. It's what exit strategy, and I was talking to Arcos and the boys down uh, at Fate. Exit strategy right now is rather broken. It, it is, is, but everybody's using it. This is the flavor I'm talking about. Mm. All these it, cards you can yeah, but you use. You use what works. Let's face you're, it, exit you're, strategy, you're... you've got your basic regen, which is too high at the minute. Let's face it, it is. Mm -hmm. Do you remember back in 07, the patch 0708, where like you ha barely have any regen? Yep. And, uh, yeah, and now you can go from zero to a hundred in health, in a second. You can get literally a hundred. Uh, I don't even know what it is, but my point is, you can regen rather quickly, and with exit strategy, pff, 
No. You you just whoops right back up. And so why I do that? You regen when an ice block. Why people are picking Eevee all the time, and then Buck is also getting into the fray, and the same with Grover, because mm -hmm. they have these kits that is makes them able to just get in their face, and so soak up a lot of damage, and then get out again, just heal up, and just rinse and repeat that. Mm. And yeah, well, you can't if you look at the other champions, for example, Pip. He lost these from above and masterful, so he cannot do that because as soon as he goes in with weightless or something, mm. you're gonna get killed. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get splattered so, pretty quickly. The thing is, Eevee is nearly impossible to punish. The same with Buck and Grover, and this is why you actually see them a lot. But that's free champion. Now you just think about well, then you have to pick the other two. Who are they gonna be? Well, the other champions are basically the same way when it comes to escape mechanics and. They cannot do the same thing like they can, so that's why you have these three broken champions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, well, well, we have Pip. He can heal. Oh wow, not by much, but he can heal. His but heal's yeah, not he, all he, that, he, you know. It's not, it's not only that. I'm, yeah. I'm just, just As saying in, yeah. that it's not something the same like uh, Eevee or the other champions. Like previously, when he had the master form from above, he was a must pick all the time, and yeah. he still is. For some well, I was gonna, well, he is because like. Like you said, I know you could call it the flavor map, but Poison Cloud, believe it or not, still kind of works. Sucks, but Acid it does. Cloud? Acid, sorry, yeah, not Poison Cloud, Acid Cloud, sorry. Um, what what do you take in, uh, in its place? Well, uh, instead of Acid Cloud? Yeah. Well, Master Food is really yeah. good, but there's a lot of situations where you could look at... Well, it's super basic. You see to have free tanks, you could easily go for the... What do you call it? Finish. The one that takes 12% HP. Uh, big game, for example. Yeah. Well, yeah, big game would work, wouldn't it? Because obviously shields and tankiness. Yeah, but um, it'll... it's all it's all HP based, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, uh, see, this is see, like you guys were all worried about coming on. Oh my god, I'm pretty nervous. But look, you guys are rattling on. That's fine. Okay. So, I'm gonna move on because obviously I've got a couple of questions more. Um, so I asked you what you want to say about uh, in Paladins. How are you finding the competitive scene? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Uh, come on, you got. Uh, I've got to ask these questions, man. Come on, you you got to answer it. Yeah, be honest, be that, honest. Can, don't can don't shoot again. How are you finding the competitive scene? How am I finding you? Well, let's say I like the competitive scene more in NA because, um, well, I don't know. You could say there's more drama. People talk more smack and st uh, stuff. Um, and also. There's a lot more teams, I guess, that is actually more serious about this. Yeah. While you see in EU, people don't win the tournaments. They play bad, and they just split up and then make three other different teams instead of just staying on the same team and just keep on playing. And at some point, you would just basically destroy everybody. Basically, you're <laughs> saying EU wants it on a silver platter, whereas NA, they're all trying for it. But that's my fault for it. I might be wrong, but I kind of feel like the competitive scene in NA is a lot better than EU right now. If it wasn't for me making up a random team this week, we'd have only had 10 teams. Oh, yeah. And that's bad. We went from first week, do you remember the first tournament that was put out? Mm. 33 sign-ups, ready to go, and they only had it at 16. And then it get dwindling and dwindling and dwindling, and this week it's just... Now, why do you think that is? Why do you think EU's dying off? Yes, Actually, they're... Go on, like... Swanky. I think they're afraid of like you. losing. I th really? See, yeah, I, I mean, NN, mm. they they haven't had the best of luck in draws. I mean, they won their first round, then come up against you guys in the quarterfinals, and back down to first round again for next week. I mean, you know, and it's happened three weeks in a row now. Whereas, well, two weeks, sorry. Both preseason tournaments have both been in the first round and gone out in the quarterfinals, which means that back when they come in, they have to start at the uh, first round again. I think the EU scene needs to be able to... I don't know. The rules and regulations as well. A, a lot of rules are getting changed. Like, on the fly, from what I've been told. I don't know if that's yeah. true. Yeah, but they are. That These rules should have been ironed out beforehand. I'm not... Uh, BMing or being disrespectful to anybody, but I've run competitive tournaments 
for a very long time and I know what I'm doing when it comes to tournaments and rules and stuff like that. Rules and regulations should be sat down a week prior to the tournament or even considering being put up to advertise and going, right, are we happy with these rules and stuff like that? And uh, having, yes, you always put in there rules and regulations may change uh, at a whim or whatever, that sort of rule. And that always gets put into the rules. But the problem is the rules are constantly changing and nobody knows how many bases where to go in. Over moves even said, look, this is the reason we're not going to bother. Over and Moves, and Moves um, have had a bad run of things, but they stuck together and they're still going at it. And I've got a lot of respect for the lads. But they don't want to compete because of the rules changing and the beacon and all that. They said, no, it's not for us. Because we'll they yeah. the, they can't follow up with the, met, uh, the meta. Like Everybody has to adapt, and they're pretty much afraid that they cannot follow the big teams. See? So they know they're not going to line up. Yeah, yeah See, that, exactly. this is what bugs me. Because I don't think it should be like that. I mean... We have, I said, I spoke to, um, who did I, I, I got it here, I've got it, I, I've got it, wait, Cooper? No, uh, no, 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 was it, was it, was it, was it, no, it was, Chaos Stick, there we go, Chris. I said to them, um, why can't we get it patched early week? And basically it gets patched when the devs make the freaking thing. It just so happens that it's always coming out on a Thursday or being released on a Thursday or Friday. Problem well, is, it comes out Thursday, Friday, and we've got bloody tournament on the Saturday, and which not only that, it gives NA more time to actually practice. All right, fine, only a 24 hours, but still, still more time than the EU gets. And it depends It depends on the patch itself. Um, the time from when the beacon came in and stuff, that was horrible because that, that changed yeah. like everybody's play style. The thing is, the patches that comes afterwards now, I don't think they're going to change too much. So it's really easy to actually do these things, and you can still keep with the basics going. That's what I keep harping on about, by the way. I keep telling everybody, learn the basics, and then you're fine. Everything else comes next. But yeah, I, 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 Honestly, I don't think the rules and regulations should be keep getting changed all the time. I, I think this is really off-putting, and... Um, Honestly, Ken and Dave are doing a phenomenal job. They really are. Plus, plus all the stats that they come out with as well. It's great. I mean, but I do see Spunky's uh, view of things where people are just like, you know what? We can't keep up with this meta. And and if you look at the official announcement of the partnership from high res to um, Paladin's World, it says teams will have to be forced to adapt. It even says that. You have to adapt to it. Yeah, yeah, it did say in the 100k tournament as well that mm. they're looking teams that can adapt really fast, or something like that. That's the thing. You cannot be you cannot be the best if you can't adapt. If you can't adapt, well, <laughs> bad luck for you. Yeah, but the only problem is we don't have time to adapt. You're given a day, at best. It, I'm going. How back do to you adapt thing. in a day and then the on the then on a Saturday well, you've got we, a freaking tournament? We are adapting. So... No, but you you've got the skill cap. To the point plus you've got that presence about torpedo actually has a presence where some teams just think right we're going in against torpedo we know we're going to lose no because people are busy disbanding and not playing the game yeah that too but that's what <laughs> i'm just saying i mean i'm lucky fate are like no come on we can beat them let's go all right fine we don't beat you but whatever you know i'm just saying <laughs> you know and that's what i love about the boys for fate they will just say no let's try this if it works it works hey presto we pick up a victory you know and that's what I love, and that's why I've got them. And um, but a lot of teams are just saying, "No, sod it, let's just band and go play something else." And high res don't see that it's quite drastic. Close beta is when people are going to start drawing opinions of the game. So the only way I can actually see a future for Paladins, and I am going to say this officially, or I will say this. I'm not going to edit this out. I'm going to say it now, and I'm probably going to get in trouble for it, but whatever. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Open beta needs to go onto Steam for Paladins. You need to put Paladins on open beta on Steam for early access. Oh, we'll see what happens when they actually release yeah, it. If they, they do that, if they do that, not only do they draw in the Team Fortress 2 guys, right, which is going to be fucking fantastic, uh, you're going to bring a lot of... Now, bear in mind, there is 17 million people log on to Steam a day. That's a lot of people. 
it could be a possibility, but it's basically all about advertising the game, and they haven't started doing but that yet. But that closely, they don't do it with the game yet. Well, like, they're, they're high, testing the game, right? Yeah, now. they 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 will throw everything they've got. Right, if this works, who cares? If they don't like it, tough shit. We're going to find out if it works. It comes across like that for us. Let's face it; it does come across like that. They're not listening to us. Blah blah blah. They do listen to us, though. They know that we're not going to like a patch, and they're already working on another fix for it. And but they have to try these things, otherwise, you know, if they don't know what works and what doesn't with the game and with the community, they're not going to be able to move forward. So you've got to give Hyres the credit and the stones and the bollocks to fucking do it. All right, these boys have got balls and say, right, we know we might lose a bit of community player base, but we still need to try this, and then come back. Like if they if if like a developer goes in, oh yeah, they'll come back. You know that's just the wrong way to think. Because like if a player in close bit says, no, nope, don't like that game, fuck it, I've got better things to do. Oh look, Overwatch, Team Fortress Two has an established player base. I'm going to go over there. You know, right now Paladins is out in a critical time. They need to get it right now because Team Fortress Two updating again. Overwatch out. Paragon, just round the corner. So, you know, you've got all these big games ready for release, and Paladins is in closed beta, and you don't get it right? Well, you know, you are going to lose your player base, and you are going to dwindle into nothing. Well, Eris did say a lot of things. Like, now, now we will just see if it's actually true, but he did a lot. He did tease a lot. So... Hopefully we will get there soon, when it comes to actually being ready for the release. And we're going to see a lot of more players come into the That's to the what scene. I want. I want my hands untied. As a person that can organize people and organize teams, I want my hands untied. <laughs> Let me create the teams. Let me help the community build the teams and give them the guidance they need to go in and... Look, I'll even give them this team speak. Come on, I'll yeah, make yeah. your room. Come in, play a fucking game. Go. You're only allowed to have one team. I'm sorry. It was unacceptable. Mm. I want more. <laughs> I get. I honestly, because I do. I understand that the whole uh, season one smite thing, the drama there. I understand it completely. You know, the guy had his hands in so much that he walked away with more money than what some of the bloody third place players did. So, you know, I get that. But let me build these teams. Let me then just hand it over to them once they're ready, and let them play. Not only do I keep a player base and I keep uh, the teams in the community. Hey presto, we've got a competitive scene again. I am. Uh, I you see. I agree with you, Spunky. I think NA is going to be extremely HM one, hold M one, whatever it's mouse one, HDMM one. What? Oh, this is where they're going to BM me and say, right, Jay, you're an asshole. You got the name right. I'm disliking your video. I'm sorry. I'm going to just hands up. I do apologize. I've got your name wrong. <laughs> right? Is that hold M one? I don't know. You don't even know. No, Come on. I don't. All right. I'm, I'm busy playing the game. Oh, really? Lazy? That's your excuse? Come on. That's, right. that's not you do realize that they could be your competitors for the title. You know that, right? Right now, you two teams are looking... You, you, oh, I've got to get this name right because it's pissing me off. Wait a minute. I'm going to scroll down until I found them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, 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 wait. I am going to get this right because if I don't get it right, I am going to get crucified on Discord when I log in in the morning. I can't even find them. Please tell me someone's actually logged on, or I'm going to cry. Nobody's actually logged in. Shit. Ah, HM1. Done. There we go. So, there we go. I can't get flamed for getting it wrong. HM1. I even looked. So, um, these guys, you know... What, what does it stand for? Hold mouse one. <laughs> yes! Oh, Come on! Bring it, boys! It. Yeah. Bring it. Come at me, lazy. So, um, you know, these guys okay. definitely could give you a run for your money. In the 100k. Right now, you two teams are looking at... We're looking at the two finalists. As yeah. it stands right now. I mean, of course, you guys are... You know, you'll probably qualify. But, you know, fate's going to beat you eventually. And we're going to eventually take the 100k. You know that, right? You're just saying. <laughs> just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. You know, oh, we're going to pull some wacky-ass maneuver on you. And you're going to fall for it. And we're going to beat you. And we're going to obviously take that final. You know. That's... Well, I don't remember that yesterday, though. <laughs> yeah, neither oh, do I. Yeah. Neither do I, but you know. <laughs> the cough. <laughs> <laughs> See, banter, boys, banter. Uh, see, that, that, that's the thing. It's like everybody seems really worried about approaching. Um, and I said this in like 
several other um, uh, real talks as well. People are really scared to approach what we call the pro scene or the pro players. Like, they'll come to me. I'm shit at the game, okay? I, I can tell you a basic build for a character, but I play what, you know, makes me comfortable on the character. I'll play something that, you know, if I can get my own up, you know, I'll play Morel. I'll, I, you know, on a character that people don't think to play it on. Like, I'll play it on Eevee. I don't care. But, um, people are scared to, like, message you guys in game. All right, you might think, well, who the bloody hell are you? But when you've been given that title of pro player in a scene that's so new, people look to you for them builds. And I keep harping on, go to Paladin's top deck. Go to Paladin's Guru. Check these builds out. Look on the forums. It's like, and another thing is, people come to me and say, "Well, you know, I need help. I need to build a team." Okay, Reddit forums. You've got all them Discord channels. We're looking for team recruiting. There's so many people there, and it's like, oh yeah, but you know, they're not that good. How do you know? You don't know these people. And. Uh, that's is why it, you pretty much see the same names all yeah, the time. Yeah, exactly. Every time you see new teams, it's like, oh, oh, oh this, oh, this guy, okay. You see, that's you the thing. You actually don't see new players that much. See, like I'm going to give a shout out now. I'm going to give a shout out to one lad in particular. Now, we took him on board last week because he said he was fresh in the game. He wasn't very good at it. Say Laden. Now, he's become, he's gone so far up. He was like 25. Now he's level 30. He's got all cards and he's underway and he's, you know, really doing well in matchmaking. He really is. Like, he's picking up the ruckus, he's playing it, and people are just underestimating, oh, he's a no-name, I'm going to go in, and then they're getting their ass kicked. Wait, is he coming on fade, or...? No, I think... No. No, 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 no. He played with me uh, in Tea Time Prime uh, this week's tournament. And uh, I'm going to give the lad props. He's a very good player. He could do with some guidance, maybe a team... But like I said, I can't help him out there. Um, maybe, like, I've chucked him in the way of over moves. Hey, you know, these guys are looking for a team. Maybe, you know, there's a home for you. And uh, people look at that and say, well, you know, teams aren't getting out the first rounds. Okay, look at who they're getting drawn against. You know, you're getting drawn against freaking uh, TKM or Fate or uh, uh, Torpedo. You're not, you know, these guys that don't have full rosters all the time aren't going to beat people that have had full rosters since bloody November. That's just not going to happen. There's too much team synergy for a start. But... Well, that's the only way you can actually... Be that's my point. You need to stick at it. Um, you just you just look at teams and you go, to your, you, you go to yourself, you think to yourself, stick at it. And I say it so often in all my videos. Stick at it. You're not going to agree. Hell, there's half the time me and some of the boys in Fate want to knock each other out. But we stick at it because we know... It's our home. You know, you become a family. But at the same time, you know, if someone needs to be cut, you have to make that decision. But it, you deal with that when it comes. But at the moment, having a full roster, having constant scrims or a schedule, like uh, we have scheduling, Torpedo has scheduling, uh, TQM has scheduling. We schedule our scrims accordingly. Now, we play you, what, three, four times a week, I do believe? Um, yeah, something like that. Pretty much. Yeah. And, you know, these are all scheduled in. And... Uh, People are looking at it and going, well, you know, can we come in? They just message you at random times and they think, well, they, they, you know, and then, well, they message us at random times. We say, like, we've already got a scrim, sorry. Um, but then we'll try to get back to them saying, hey, look, we've got a free time here. Oh, sorry, people aren't on. And it's like, okay, how much time did you actually set aside for scrimming? You know, you're saying, you, you come out saying, oh, I want to build a team for the 100K. Okay, that's fine. I'll, you know, here's a list of players that want to play. Make yourself a team. But you're not going to be great. You're not going to be number one overnight. You need to freaking um, practice. And if you're not going to set time for scheduling, constant. I mean, we scrim six hours, maybe sometimes even eight, and we're still not number one. I mean, right now, we're struggling to keep hold of third place. D and T looking really strong. Well, you could say that it's because of the meta changes that they change up the game a lot of times. So you're kind of starting over with some most well, yeah, you're starting you're starting over every yeah. time there comes a new patch because it's so big and uh, changes. I wouldn't say we're starting over. I Not do really agree with you in an assessment, yeah. but like I said, going back to what me and you said prior, 
remembering the basics. Remember how to play the champ. Unless that champion's had a complete overhaul of its kit, the basics will still remain the same. Yeah, some Cass of the basics. Ca yeah, no. Cassie's a ranged user. You're not going to jump in and try and take on Buck on head on, are you? You know, it's it's basics like that. Knowing when to get Wait. out. When yeah, I know people do Wait, it. And say that's a trio. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh. oh. Damn. Damn. If Damn. You went for the correct build, but I was say I was about to say who was it? Bidey. Mm. The build he used in the the NA tournament was actually really hilarious to see because that was basically just rolling in people's face and shoot them. Well, did you, I, you should have been on here. I'm I'm was screaming at him. I'm like, what the bloody hell are you doing? You're ranged for a reason. You're not meant to go and take on a freaking Grover face on. You're not meant to go and. Bet he was picking up. He got three triple kills in that one game, and you think. Well, actually, you know, that's kind of worth, isn't it? You're picking free kills up before you die. You're doing damage. You're getting that EXP. Um, okay, that's kind of worth. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Well, no, not nothing. Yeah, all right, Spunky. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Spunky. Coming from the person, you know, that just admitted that he killed Secured. You know, <sighs> just saying, you know. No, I'm not the best. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to be the best player in the world, isn't it, Spunky? Oh, no. Hey, uh, am I inflating his ego again? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, my bad. Oh, my dude. bad. My bad. <laughs> oh, You're assaulting Lazy right there. Lazy, you oh, know I love you, man. You know, spooky, you get... how do... Lazy, you were my first love, and you will always, always, always be the best player in the world. Next next patch, I will make Spunky play... Gr oh, wait, you Grog. decide who plays? <laughs> no, he doesn't decide anything. Yeah, th th this is how it's going to go. Lazy's <laughs> just going to go, right, you're going to play Grok next uh, patch. And then all of a sudden the patch comes out, Grok's ultimate's now back to that massive IOE damage. And he's going to walk in and get another Hexa kill. And Lazy's going to be sitting there going, for fuck's sake, really? <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's all good. Right, um, thank just... you ever so much, boys. I'm just going to cut it there because we've been going for quite a while. I do want to say thank you ever so much to Lazy and Spunky. For coming on to Real Talk today. It's been a pleasure, boys. See, you knew thought it was going to be bloody. Oh my god, don't know what to say. It is. See, look, it's you were talking about, shit. It's from... only talk about Spooky. It's <laughs> like, Spooky, you're the best player in the world. Yeah. By the way, we have this princess, we have this custom, we have Teal, Surfle, we have this whole torpedo uh, family. Hey guys, like I think if you listen real close, you can hear the QQ. Oh. oh, you can hear his yes, butt clinching. Actually. He's very butt hurt right now. Wait, <laughs> it God damn it. But of course, like, we don't call it the Spunky Show for nothing. I'm this, just saying. You basically invaded this interview. I, I, yes, I did. I didn't ask Lazy to, can I come here? I just talked to you instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. Oh, you you this. Just for the record, you said, hey, can I come onto the show? Yes. He baited it. Lazy, you got baited, son. How do you feel about that, huh? What do you what, what, what do you feel right now? <laughs> I like but... the interview until we had to talk about Spunky Z Peen. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Well, well, I'm just letting two wise men talk. I don't know. I'm just two sitting quietly men. here. Two wise men? Yes. You do realize Lazy's here as well, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I uh, know. Are we playing? Are we playing Fate tonight? Oh wait. So right, my re so my reactions are gonna cost my team. Oh, I see. So you're gonna take your anger out, Lazy. So in before Lazy's first blood, just calling it now. Spunky, make that happen. Yeah, just saying. I'll give you that money later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, right, guys. Thank you ever so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for being on the show. And of course, guys, if you need any help with. Uh, Paladins, you can go to Paladins Top Decks and Paladins Guru, as well as the Reddit. No, I'm not going to say Reddit. And as well as the forums, because I won't say Reddit. Don't go to Reddit. Because it, it will make you, you cry. Said it. I did. But don't go. Don't go to Reddit. However, the Re Reddit mods, Reddit. you guys rock. But anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. This is Real Talk. Au revoir. Goodbye. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.